Okay then guys, so I've uh, had an enjoyable couple of days looking at my Golf Mark 5 uh, grill. Um, what had happened is the clear coat here and starting on some of here had bubbled off. It's a 2007 plate, so you expect the clear coat to go a little bit. Um, so I just thought I'd do this quick video. Um, hopefully it will give people some confidence. Um, the, the grill itself, there are just a couple of screws, so there's one here and there's one here and then it just comes straight off the badge itself so the badge here this is a twisty badge so it kind of just uh, clicks in and twists so that's actually quite easy to get off problem with the grill though is they've got a lot of lugs on each side and what you've got to do is ease it off really really carefully it's really tricky to get off so you can see look here there's all these little plastic lugs. And all I can say is, you just have to start at one end and just lever very slowly and loosen these with a very, very small flat screwdriver. Do the same on the other end and then the middle bit comes off. Um, in terms of sorting it out, all I did to rub it down was take a sanding block. So it's just a simple sanding block, quite a rough grit. So I, so I took off all the clear coat along here, along here, went round along here, along here. Finished it off then with a bit of a very, very low grit um, silicon carbide paper. So it's really quite fine. Um, I then sprayed, if you look, this is Halfords actually. This is a red primer. So I gave a couple of coats of primer, left it a day. So I gave it a coat, left it a day, and then um, gave, it a, gave it the lightest of rub downs. So with this paper, lightest of rub downs, then a second coat primer, and then it had three coats of, this color is Tornado Red, um, 300 mils in a can, so from Halfords, 300 mils took this whole section, so you're gonna need a whole can for it, um, and then it's had some lacquer, I've, I've not used much, I think, well this is a 500 mil Halfords clear lacquer, I reckon I've used a third of a can. You could maybe put some more. So it is a couple of, couple of layers. Now, interestingly, the other, I think, key bit is, there's a lot of talk on the internet about how to do this. And I'm hoping you'll see, I've actually got, and it's hard to see, obviously, with the foam, but it's a good, really nice, good, shiny finish. It's come out really well, actually. Um, lovely coating, lovely texture, it's still, still drying but it's uh, it's touch dry the clear coat um what i did i gave it the coat of red the top coat um i gave it 20 minutes 25 another coat same again gave it about 30 minutes didn't touch it at all because the finish was good and then it's had the clear coat and it says with the clear lacquer all this stuff about rubbing it down i've done none of that all i've done is put the clear coat on and I've given it again like 10, 20 minutes. I've given it two coats. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, you could now, when it's cured and hardened, give it a bit of a rub down because it is, it is a tiny bit of an orange peel to it. You see there, you can see it's not quite a perfect kind of flat. We could flat it off, rub it down, polish it up, but it's such a little area. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Very straightforward and simple. So I'm just gonna click it back together, click that on, and job done, that's it. There's my bumper, ready to uh, to go. The, the grill is gonna fit right in, finish off the bumper, and it's cost me all of, that was 15 pounds and I already had the lacquer. So call it 20 quid for a complete redo. Um, looking good. So hopefully that's helped on how to repair your clear coat when it starts to bubble up because now for me, there's no clear coat underneath that's going to bubble up because I've rubbed it all down. So it's just uh, it's just going to last another large number of years. And since this is a 2007 car, I think it did pretty well on the original coat of paint, to be fair. And it's an original part, so I've not bought any cheap cheap rubbish parts that don't fit. It will just all click back into place. There we go.